Well, welcome to Monkey World's very own version of Mastermind. Um, we're here with Mike Colborne today. You've sent in fantastic questions, um, and we're going to get through as many of them as we possibly can. Right then, Mike. First question from Kaylee. Who was the hardest monkey or ape that you had to help hand raise? I think it probably most definitely has to be Gordon. Um, I think as everybody knows, Gordon was about four weeks premature um, and even the vets sort of said, you know, chances of him surviving are pretty remote. Um, I think that's the one that I spent more um, time over than any of the others. Uh, the woolly monkeys, of course, they're so tiny um, to do those, but I think it's got to be Gordon. Great. A question from Imogen. If you had to live in one of the groups of, of the park, which one would you choose? Neither. None of them. I value my extremities too much. <laughs> question from Amanda. If you could change one thing in the world, what would it be? <clears throat> Very difficult question. Um, it's a bit of a selfish answer. I would like to change myself. I would like to go back and start all over again with the knowledge that I have now. Um, and attempt to do my life differently. A uh, question from Terry, how hard was it to integrate into Jeremy's group when you started at the park? It was quite difficult. Uh, I had been working in zoos all my life and to come here um, to Monkey World which is very different um, outlook on keeping animals um, so I was always um, zoo institutionalized as um, Jim used to call it um, but I hope I have fitted in now after the 17 years. Great. Question from Alexis. If you could choose a celebrity to come and work with you for a day, who would you choose and why? I would love to meet Elkie Brooks. Um, she has a special place in my heart. Um, I think out of dead people as well, um, I, I would go for Nina Simone, who I idolise. Cool. Question from Shell. What job would you do if you weren't doing your current work? <laughs> something that was paid vast amounts of money and probably only have to work one hour a week. <laughs> Question from Jill. Mike, what would you say was your favourite moment when ham-rearing a youngster? Getting rid of them. <laughs> Question from Rachel. Do you get recognised a lot when you're out and about? I do. Um, I often get mistaken for Jeremy and I often get mistaken for Ross Kemp from... Um, um, old EastEnders, um, often I've heard people discussing, yeah, it's Ross, it's Ross, it's not, it's me. <laughs> An invitation from Jessica, she wants to know if you're ever in North West, North West Kent, she'd love you to come for dinner with her family. Send me your address and I'll see what I can do. Great. And I eat all sorts of food. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can certainly vouch for that. <laughs> A question from Ruth, what's your favourite time of the day at the park? My f I have two. Uh, sometimes when I've been hand rearing an animal, I go for a walk into the park, uh, maybe six o'clock, five o'clock in the morning during the summer, when there's nobody about. Uh, and even all the animals are shut in, it's just magic. And also the same in late, late evening, when there's nobody around, it's just the most beautiful place. Uh, question from Kelly Marie. You worked with gorillas before you came to work at Monkey World. Was it difficult to leave that part of your career behind? Well, the last year, at Bristol Zoo, we didn't have any great apes there, so I was working with lots of other different animals. Um, I have a, I don't know what it is, a rapport, a feeling, an affinity with the gorillas. Um, even now I can feel the hairs on my arms going up just talking about gorillas. They are magnificent. It was difficult. Great. Question from Mary. Do you ever get any time off? And if so, how do you like to spend your spare time? I value my time off immensely. I love to go on to Studland Beach and sitting in a little sand dune all on my own away from everybody else and anybody else that walks through my sand dune gets very nasty glares. <laughs> Question from Vicky, what's the best job at Monkey World? <laughs> I have been directed to say I think that the best job here is working with Shelley. <laughs> <laughs> it does have its good moments and it does have its not so good moments. A question from Patricia, how come you never get any older, let us in on your secret? 
Um, yeah, I think you want to look at the video when I first started at Monkey World 17 years ago. Oh boy, was I slim. <laughs> <laughs> Question from Jane. If you were stuck on a desert island, what would be your luxury item and which primate from the park would you choose to keep you company? My luxury item would have to be something to play my music <laughs> on with my Nina Simone collection and my, um, uh, um, what was the other one? The what would be your luxury item and which primate from Which the primate, park? that's easy, it would be Jeremy. Jeremy is excellent, I suppose it should be Alison actually, but I'm afraid Jeremy has the edge. He is brilliant at building things, so he'd be able to build me a house. He can grow things, he can go out and, and catch animals for me and, and to eat. So, And I could talk English with him as well. A question from Michelle, what's been your best and your worst moment at the park? My best moment probably has to be little Gordon, I think, and my worst moment was definitely when Jim passed away. Okay, that's all we've got time for in this episode. Um, we are going to do a part two, as you've sent in so many fantastic questions, so we'll be bringing you that one shortly.